We're slicing dice him. Now, it's really scary to fight Big Dude with the weapon fighting him because you can see my attack speed is... What? Oh! Oh my god! I got sniped by a goddamn NPC! <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Last Day. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. So today, we're doing viewer ideas number two. Um, we've got the first one of those that we did last time. It was the one where people asked me to do the ATV, at least start building the ATV. Obviously, you cannot complete it just yet, but we do have it set down over here. I actually moved my bike from the middle of the living room area down to my now quasi-garage where we have the ATV being built and the chopper as well. The chopper is done. The only thing that we're missing is obviously the items not in the game yet or the ones you have to pay money for, which is something I'm not going to do. And over here, the ATV is slowly coming along. Now, for today's video, the viewer idea that I chose out was people were asking me, Falcon, go to a red zone and survive as long as possible, which sounds like a good idea, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a better one. I will do two runs in the red zone. The first one, completely naked. The second one, with some minor equipment. So I want to show you guys that it's actually kind of possible to survive the red zone naked, but... It depends a bit on luck, it depends on what type of NPCs will spawn, you know, the, the player NPCs that spawn, that have weapons and whatnot. Because if they have a gun, it's basically over for you. So we'll be doing that here for today. Now, before we run off and do that, I want to show you guys that I've been <laughs> collecting stuff for no reason at all, but other just to just waste my items. I have now created the couch and the bed, which you guys told me, Falcon, they're useless, and you're right, they are. A lot of the items I've been creating right now have been useless, but I'm doing it just so you guys can see them at the very least, see what they look like. But you cannot use them whatsoever. So over here, this is now my living room area. We have the radio where I can sit down, allegedly, and listen to the radio. So, this is a really good spot, I would say, for the couch. Right over here. Okay? So this is my living room area. I sit down over here, listen to the radio for the trader calls, and for the bed, I have my room right here. I've got a lamp. I... Really? Oh, come on! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you telling me that the spike hurts me through the wall? That's... that's shitty. That's so terrible. They should probably fix that already. It's been around for a long time. I still can't believe it's in here. Whatever. So, for some reason, the bed could only be placed in metal floors. Why? I have no idea. It makes it look really weird because we have, like, wooden planks here and then suddenly you have, like, metal. But for some reason, you could only place it down on metal floor. So, um, we'll go ahead and grab... or stone floor, I should say, not metal. People get really upset in the comments when I, you know, mess something up like that. When I say, like, a stone floor, people are like, it's not a... Or when I say a metal floor, people are like, it's not a metal floor, Falcon. It's a stone floor. I'm like, okay, it's fine, dude. Relax. It's it's a minor minor issue. That you know what I mean? As long as you know what I mean, it's fine. Just, just relax. <laughs> relax a little bit. So there you go. That's my bed. Again, I don't like it. I don't like the idea that you have to place that on a stone floor. But it is what it is. There it is now. This is my room where apparently I walk near... And I get hurt. So before we go to the red zone, we obviously have to kill ourselves to get our HP back. And also our thirst and hunger. I made a, a bigger play area for my wolf. And in terms of the names for the wolf, you guys are giving me a lot of names. I'm not sure which one to choose. Um, obviously the, the top one right now is Dogmead. A lot of people said Wolfie. A lot of people said... Um, a person told me to call him Falcon69, and I was thinking to myself, well, that's kind of alright, but he's a wolf. It'd be kind of weird to call him Falcon. So, I'm looking at the ideas for the names, and I'll, I'll choose one for the next video. How about that? Alrighty, so now, we're going to the red zone naked. Now, the only thing I'm allowing myself, if you guys don't mind, is I'm going to take myself uh, a couple of medkits. Okay? Now, you're probably thinking, Falcon, that's cheap. It's not cheap. I'm still going buck naked, man. Believe me. When I die, and we will be dying, believe me. I'll do one more run to the red area, and I will do a run to the red area with minor equipment. I want to show you guys the difference that it can make when you have a small amount of armor. Now, in case you were not familiar with this or aware of this, the NPCs that spawn, you know, like the, the player NPCs that spawn in maps, they spawn with equipment comparable to yours. So, the better equipment you have on yourself, the more better their equipment is going to be too. So, technically speaking, if you're going to a red zone and you're going naked, they will still have some pretty decent equipment, but it probably won't be super killer equipment. So it does actually level based on whatever's equipped on you. Now, there's tricks to this, mind you. Um, when it comes to the spitter, you can't actually evade the spitter's spit attack. It's a bit tricky. The way I do it is 
I've noticed, it doesn't always happen this way, but the way I've noticed is that he will do... Oh, what, what have I done? What I've noticed is that he'll do two spits. Spit one, spit twice, and then he'll go into melee attack. And that's where you want him to be. You want him to melee attack you because he's not really a strong melee fighter. He is, um, he'll do a lot of damage to you by spitting. So technically, there's ways to evade the spit by moving to the side. It's kind of really tricky to do, but that's one way to do it. And then the other one is going to be the, the fat guy. When he jumps into the air, you want to run away from the little impact zone. If you do that, you don't take really big damage. Did I put this on myself? I did. Okay. So, I will try to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. But it's a very really good way to survive. Now, mind you, I'm naked, so I won't survive too long. But if you have decent equipment and you evade attacks, you actually can survive a while here, too. I've done it many times before. So, let me start off over here by grabbing a little bit of this. So, we here have our first spitter, probably. I did not get away in time. I got away that time. So, technically speaking... Yeah, he did it again. Okay, so it's random, mind you. The one that I've seen very often is going to be the, the spit twice, and then he goes into regular attacks. But for this one, he just went into spitting three times, which is doesn't really happen too often, but it did this time. Um, We need to keep moving because... Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, because of that. Because monsters are always coming after you here. Oh, boy. Let me drop this medkit. The fact this guy showed up when I was in my inventory was really bad. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, here we have big guy. Oh god, we have big guy and spitter after me. Oh, this is not how I want to do this. Let me run out really quickly. Not how I want to do this. You want to keep this one-on-one, -on -one, obviously. If you do two-on-one naked, you're, you're bone, especially with no weapon. It's not a time for an event right now, game. Okay, I'm very busy trying to survive. Okay, if we get another bit of clothing, though, we could probably make a bandage on the fly, too. So, I hope they're not aggro on me still. Sometimes they will continue aggroing on you even when you show back up again. So, is that going to happen here? No, they left me alone. Okay. So, let's grab berries. I want to get to at least one loot box. If I do one loot box alone, I will be happy. Who's this fella here? Rabbit Wolf. Okay, let's kill him before somebody else shows up. Because I know somebody's coming up pretty soon. They never leave. They always... Attack you here constantly. Okay. We're not picking up loot, mind you. I'm only looking for something we could use. Oh, there's one loot box here. Ah! Son of a bitch. I got out of the way in time. I got out of the way in time. Oh, God. Big dude over here, too. Jesus. It's a lot easier if you have equipment, obviously. Oh, right, here comes big guy. Let me show you the big guy thing. I, I can't do damage to him is the problem. Like, I could punch it out with him, but he'll hurt me a lot. So check this out. Yeah, he does 10. You saw that? That's how you avoid his attack. And technically speaking... He does a lot of damage, as you can see. Well, not really. 10 is not too bad for a melee attack. The one that does a lot of damage is the radius attack. But you don't want to fight him hand-to-hand, -hand, because it takes way too long, especially if you're naked. So I would not suggest you to do that. But I wanted to show you guys how you could actually avoid that attack. It's very easy. His melee attack isn't really too bad, as long as you have some equipment, which we <laughs> obviously do not. Let me see if I could just do this one more time. If they come after me again, guys, I'm not going to waste your time. I will just go ahead and come back home and get myself dressed. As a matter of fact, we'll probably just, um... Yeah, because it's a spitter. Okay. Is it just one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, you want to fight hand-to-hand? -hand. That's actually very good. Oh, here comes the big fat guy. Oh, okay. Two of them. Neat. <laughs> very neat. Oh, you guys are you guys are tough guys, huh? Fighting on one naked human? Oh, guys, let's just have every every toxic monster out here chase me down. Tough guys, very tough. Okay, well, I'm gonna kill myself to go my go back home, um, without using my energy because I need to come back here one more time with equipment to show you how a little bit of small equipment can actually make a big difference when it comes to surviving. So yeah, I don't mind if I lose this stuff. I have one more med kit though. Let's give this one more try, and then we let them kill me. And whatever. I wanted to get into one single box. We saw a box, though. But unfortunately, then everybody and their mama decided to come chase me down. Can't go through here. You see, they're just... <laughs> you come in and they're like, fuck it, let's fight. Drop the medkit. At least I'm... Oh, yeah. Yeah, bring it up. I'm bringing one of you down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just let them do it. 
The tough guys. Oh, yeah, we're so tough. Yeah, we're killing one naked human. Okay, yeah, it's fine. You know what? Perfectly okay. So that was me trying to survive dirt naked. Doesn't really go too well. It's um, it's very easy to survive naked. Um, in the yellow areas, though, because you obviously don't have, like, 70 monsters always aggroing the moment you walk in. It's a lot easier in the yellow area. Okay, so let's do... Hat. Shirt. Cargo and sneakers. Now, mind you, this equipment right here is very easy to make on the field. If you go out to the yellow area naked, you can easily make this equipment because rope drops really often from zombie kills along with fabric. So as long as you get a couple of drops over there, you can easily make this equipment. And believe me, naked to that equipment makes a big difference when it comes to, like, you know, absorbing damage. So I definitely would suggest you at least go out for the yellow area with some small equipment like this. This will probably do for you. I like to make, honestly, the weapon I like to make when I'm going scavenging for the yellow area is the makeshift bat. Five planks and three tape, which you don't really use tape for anything else. So this is a very easy weapon to make. And it does pretty good damage. It, it out damages the spear easily. And the attack speed isn't really too bad. Plus, it's very easy to make. That's why I like it. Because if you start going into, like, say, the torch, now you require skin, which isn't really too bad either. But I don't like the torch too much. And the cleaver, it starts requiring steel, or iron bar, sorry. Um, so I normally like to go out to the yellow area with the makeshift bat and the dad equipment, and I survive easily there with no problems for a very long time, until I basically loot the entire map. But for the red area, we need something slightly stronger. The crowbar is my go-to weapon because it costs 7 and 3 to make, very easy. The machete is a very good one too. But it now requires 15 steel and 12 leather, so it's a really, really high cost value item for you to make. So I would suggest crowbar is always your weapon to go with because it's very easy to make. Now, I'm not going to make this because I do want to go out there. I kind of want revenge, so how about we take this monster right here? Because you know what? I feel like a little bit of revenge after what they did to me. Now, I don't got any time for that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pay him back a little bit of visit. And be like, you know what, guys? I really appreciate you guys bullying me around, so it's time for me to bully you guys with my crazy weapons here. And with the minor equipment that we have, we actually can take a couple of hits, too. So, we're at 72. Perfect. Let's come back over here for some good old revenge now. I would really like them to add, like, a way to equip two weapons, so you could actually just, like, you know, attack once here and attack another one here. If you're seeing my arrow, I mean, like, click here and then click up here. I would really love that addition, but not here yet. Okay, so we want to sneak up here as soon as possible. Get as many zombies out of the way as possible. So this is a one-hit kill. Oh, baby. Oh, he leveled up too. I wasn't ready for that one. All right, here comes the scumbag, huh? Okay, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. So you can see now my damage is a, a little bit less now. I'm picking this up because I would like to also be able to make some bandages if we have the chance to. So three fellows down. I do have medkits equipped. I want to get into at least one single box for us here. Evade that. One. Oh, he got that attack in there before I could actually kill him. All right, here comes another one. Skip that one. One and... Oh, did not get the second hit. <laughs> All right. Another one, huh? That's fine. Keep bringing him on. Keep bringing him. Here's another friend. Oh, straight up melee? Oh, it's your funeral, my friend. Boom, baby. So now we can make a couple of band-aids. Well, actually one. Oh, there's a box right there. Okay, here's Big Dude. Now, since we know Big Dude is around... Let's slice and dice him. Now, it's really scary to fight Big Dude with the weapon I'm fighting him because you can see my attack speed is... What? Oh! Oh my god! I got sniped by a goddamn NPC! <laughs> I, I, I wasn't, I was paying too close attention to... You're, you're probably wondering how Falcon, you lost weapons. That's okay, guys. I have plenty of guns stored up ready for me scavenging. I have plenty of more saw weapons. I don't really care. Um, I was too focused on, you know, paying attention to moving out of the radius of the little impact, right? Because 
since I'm using the big weapon, the saw weapon, it's a very slow swing. So in order, you gotta swing and you gotta move out of the way. It's a lot easier to do with the crowbar because the crowbar is really fast, so you can just hit, 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 move, hit, hit, hit. With the saw, it's kind of like a very slow swing, even though it does a lot of damage. But I was too focused on moving out of the radius that I didn't even see the NPC. I thought it was another spitter coming at me, which wasn't a big problem. Oh my god, this is actually the very first time I've ever been killed by an NPC with a gun. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> but it's kind of weird. It's like a, it seems like a sniper gun, but he was very close to me. You saw that? Oh my god, that was crazy. Well, there you guys have it. That is the red area idea you guys um, wanted me to do. I did the naked version, which didn't go too well, and we were going to do really well with this one had that NPC not shown up. Or at least had I paid attention to him, I would have been able to run out of the map and then come back in and get into that box, which sucks. God damn it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it at the very least, and I hope that the ideas here gave you some tips in case you were wondering about that. Always make this. It's very easy to make, and it does a big difference when it comes to taking damage, especially in the yellow area. So it's a very easy thing to make and make the makeshift bat. I prefer that over anything else that requires steel because it's so easy to make. You'll have a lot of duct tape because you barely use duct tape for anything. And the planks, obviously, you just, all you do is just toss some wood into the plank maker over here and you're set. So that's kind of like my suggestion. Dad gear and makeshift bad and you'll survive yellow areas easily. Red areas, well, different story altogether. I will catch you next time.